Today we're talking all about wireless cell cameras. Let's get into it. Today we're gonna to talk all about wireless cell cameras, why I like them so much, why they're revolutionary to the way I hunt, and then how to take them from the package into the tree, literally. Let's get into it. So the wireless cell camera has literally changed the game for me. It's one of the most innovative products that I use for hunting, bar none. It's probably one of the biggest things that's come out in the last five years or so. It's really changed the way that I hunt. And what's great about these is they're literally real-time eyes and ears in the woods that prevent me from having to go into the woods to figure out what's going on in there. So way, way, way smaller of a footprint for me to be in the woods rather than kind of going in and checking cameras sporadically. Before wireless trail cameras, what I would do is I would litter the woods with cameras. I'd figure out my spots, I'd have the cameras out in the woods. Then I would go in maybe once every week to 10 days, I would check those cameras, and then I would formulate a game plan on where to hunt. These puppies have literally cut that learning curve down to instantaneous feedback for me to know when to go in the woods, when to check the cameras, and when to hunt a certain spot. These cameras have made me more efficient of a hunter, hands down. So I've been using the Moultrie cameras now for a couple seasons, and I absolutely love them. I haven't had any issues with battery life, connectivity, etc. I've actually been very surprised at how long the battery life lasts on these. Um, I've been getting anywhere from like eight months to a year of battery life, and it all depends on images. So obviously some of the places that I'm putting these cameras, um, you know, I only get about six months of battery life. Some places I get well over 12 months. It really depends on the number of images. It's also important to note that I'm probably not the best test for a true battery life uh, longevity test because I move my cameras around a whole ton. I don't have a bunch of these things. They are not inexpensive, uh, but they're not expensive either, but they're, they're, they're a great value. But in the same um, token, you know, I don't have a ton of these, so they're very important for me to kind of keep rotating around and keep in the hot spot. Basically, if I have one of these, I'm not gonna let it just soak in a cold area. For me, these cameras are a valuable, valuable tool though, because what I'm doing is I will go into a property, I'll figure out the area that I think the deer are using, I'll put a camera up. Then I'll monitor the pictures from that camera. If I need to go back in and move it, I will. But once I pick up a pattern, and I'm glued to the app on this sucker constantly, um, but once I pick up a pattern and I notice kind of where the deer are moving or a certain timing that they're moving, I'll get in there and hunt them. For example, the property that I'm at right now, I had two cameras out here recently. I saw a bunch of deer moving through on it, instantly came out, hunted the next day, and was covered up in deer. Now, unfortunately for me, that didn't result in a harvest, but it was still something that I knew where the deer were, even to the point where when I came out here to hunt these deer, I knew exactly that they were in there when I got here and I was able to watch on the camera and wait for them to walk off and bed down before I climbed in midday to hunt. That's pretty cool. The process of setting these cameras up is really easy. And one of the cool things about these Moultrie cameras is the fact that they have the individual cell camera that's all housed in one area, but they also have their field modem camera. Now the field modem will work with a laundry list of current cameras that they already have. So instead of having to just get rid of cameras, you're able to take the cameras that you currently have and connect them to this field modem and have it work just like a cell camera. So I probably have a 50-50 mix between these cameras themselves and the ones with the field modems and they both work flawlessly. One of the other features that I really like about these cameras is the Moultrie app. The Moultrie app has been flawless for me and I really like all the data that it keeps. For example, the moon phase, time, temperature, obviously barometric pressure. Uh, it, it correlates it all into a, an app where you can keep track of different moon phases, time of day, barometric pressure, and the search feature on the side has been fantastic to try and weed down or recreate the current weather systems that you have and try to isolate patterns of deer movement within it. The process of setting these cameras up is super easy. First, take the camera out of the box. Once the camera's out of the box, you put the batteries in it. Once you have batteries in the camera, you literally just turn the app on and walk through the prompts to add a new camera. It'll ask you to scan the barcode. Once that barcode is scanned with your phone, you then just select the plan that you're using, you're up and running. 
I personally like to do this at my own house before I go out in the woods to set them up, just in the event that maybe the batteries aren't good or whatever. I don't ever want to go into the woods without something that I know is functioning perfectly. But fortunately, I've never had an issue with the Moultrie's ever working great. The settings that I like to operate on these cameras are pretty simple. I like to have uh, three shot triggered burst. I like to have the photos sent to me instantly. And I also like to make sure that there's a couple minute delay between photos. Um, if it's an area that the deer are feeding in where I know they're gonna be around a lot, maybe like an acorn flat in the early season, I'm gonna put about a five minute delay on there because once the deer have come through, I know they're there. I, I don't need to be watching 100 pictures of the same doe family group feeding in there. I know they're there, I know they're using the spot. Uh, if it's a transition area, I might have a 30 second delay because if deer are walking through, I need to know. So based on the area that the camera's in, I'm gonna have different settings. Overall, these Moultrie cameras have been an absolute game changer for me. I know that you yourself will absolutely love them as well. If you have any questions, let me know below. Otherwise, make sure to check these out. This to me is something that is super important. It's a very valuable tool. It's a much more important tool than like the new bow that's coming out or um, you know, new boots or something like that. I mean, to me, this translates directly into me being more efficient, a better hunter, and able to harvest more animals. So that's what I'm interested in. That's why I'm here. Thanks for checking this out. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Plenty more stuff coming out. And if you have anything that you'd like to see or have me cover, feel free to leave it below also, and I'll be happy to do it.